Hello, I hope you're doing well. Uh, before I get started on showing you how to get paid with your WordPress website, I think an introduction is in order. Um, my name is Dan Cameron, if we haven't met already. Uh, I'm the founder, owner, operator, just about everything over at Sprout Apps. Uh, I built a business around Sprout invoices, and um, one of my goals from the early start was to support my family with a product that people love. And uh, I, I just... To be honest, I've been very lucky in order to do that over the last few years. Um, anyways, enough of my rambling. Uh, my point of this video is to show you how to get paid, so let's start. Hopefully this page is familiar to you. It's the Add Plugins page. Uh, what I'm going to do in order to install Sprout Invoices is obviously search for it within this. And the first plugin here is Sprout Invoices, Client Invoicing and Estimates. As I click Install, an Activate button will come up. And after I click Activate, I'll be redirected to the Sprout Invoices Getting Started page. On the Getting Started page, you'll see a brief overview of the Sprout Invoices flow, uh, which covers lead generation, estimating, and invoicing. There's an FAQ section with important links to documentation. Uh, right now, let's go over to the report section. This is where you'll see your overdue and unpaid invoices, your latest updates, including payments. Uh, let's head on over to the general settings page next. Now the general settings page has a lot of options and settings. Um, I'm just gonna go over the most important ones today. If you scroll down, you'll get to the notification settings. And within that, you'll want to look over at the from name and the from email. Now, the from name always defaults to the title of the website. Now, the from email is accurate. Uh, it defaulted to my admin email. The next section is the company info. This information will show on my invoices and estimates. The next section is the currency formatting. Now, Sprout Invoices does try really hard to um, default to your local region's currency. Uh, but if it doesn't, uh, this is where you'll go ahead and change the settings in order to make it in the format that you need for your locale. I'm going to go down and save changes. The next tab, I'm going to head on over to payment settings. And as you can see, Sprout Invoices comes with a few payment processors for free. There's also a PayPal uh, add-on that you can get from the Sprout Apps website. It's linked right here. It allows you to accept PayPal payments uh, via Express Checkout. Let's head on back. And I've enabled check and PO payments for this website. Next, I'm gonna go to the Notifications tab. On the notifications tab, you'll see the active and disabled notifications for the site, as well as you can edit your uh, notifications. Next, I'll show you the add-ons section. The add-on section shows some of the many add-ons that Sprout Invoices has. You also might find it interesting to see all of the add-ons that are bundled within the pro version of Sprout Invoices. Next, let's head on over to the import section. Now that I have Sprout invoices set up, I will be able to import records from a previous invoicing software, and that includes FreshBooks, Harvest, WP Invoice, or any other service that allows me to export my records via CSV. Uh, through the step process, it allows you to import all of your clients, users, estimates, invoices, and payments through a simple process. Since I'm not importing any invoices uh, and this site doesn't have any invoices, let's head on over to add a new invoice. Now that I'm on the invoice admin screen, I'm going to add a title to this new invoice. Uh, I'm going to bill myself today for this video demo recording. The next section is the line items. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parent and sub line items. So the first uh, task, so be it, is to do the recording. So do the recording and editing. Okay, and I'm going to add a subtask just by dragging it. 
over. Uh, the first part was recording. Uh, which took about a couple hours. And since I'm billing myself, I'm going to give myself a discount for this line item right here. I'm going to add another task, which is editing. And since editing is so much more complicated, let's do a higher rate. Subline items help break out the, the long list of line items. Um, in this case, I can create a single line item for doing the recording and editing and mark it for 475. But this way I can break it out so the client understands what exactly I'm uh, charging, especially if I have different rates for each. Uh, I'm going to add a product now. And I did buy this microphone for this recording. I don't know the SKU, but I'll enter one anyways. I think I paid $80 for it. Um, and since I'm going to be using it half the time for Sprout invoices, I'll only bill myself half for it. So those are line items. The next section I'm going to move on to is information. This is where you can update the issued on. Uh, you can update do by. Uh, right now, the most important thing is adding a client. So if I click on edit, I can see that no uh, clients have been created on this site yet. But if there is a long list of uh, clients to choose from, you'll be able to search for them here. Let's click create new. After I click create, it should be added automatically to the invoice and assigned. Uh, again, there's many other things that I can change here, including the invoice ID. Uh, I can add some taxes and add an additional discount to the entire invoice. So right now I'm going to add another discount. I'm going to do 10% off, click OK, and scroll down. I'm going to change the terms of this invoice to seven days because I don't trust myself uh, to pay. So I'm going to click Save. And there's my first invoice. I'm going to open it up and review it and make sure everything's okay. And it looks good. As you can see, there's a parent line item and sub line items broken out. Price looks good. So let's go and send it to myself. Let's do me, myself, and I actually. Let's send it to me, let's CC me, and let's send it to I. Here's a note, um, please pay this man. Okay, I'm going to send the invoice. And as you can see, the invoice is sent in the background and I'll be receiving an email shortly. And that's it. I was able to create an invoice. I was able to send it to a client and hopefully I'll get paid soon. Hopefully this video helped you see how Sprout Invoices works and you give it a shot if you haven't already. Thanks a lot.